Uh, I'm Adam Crockett, uh, co-founder and director of Orange. Ryan Hickey, co-founder and also director of Orange. It's the eighth year of Orange. Well, it's changed in, in a lot of different ways. It's <laughs> certainly gotten bigger. We've um, really tried to um, change some things yet keep some things the same. You know, we want to maintain kind of the original concept and idea and formula of having creative uh, media uh, of any kind, but mainly, you know, fine art and contemporary music uh, on equal platforms. And that was one of the things that we talked about early on, is we didn't want uh, an art show that had some background music, nor did we want a concert that had some background art. We wanted art music fully featured in a, um, what we were lucky to find that first year, kind of an al alternative environment, you know, with this warehouse concept. Um, it's grown uh, certainly in the number of people that we've reached. Uh, the sponsorship thing has changed dramatically because after the first couple of years, again, as the event grew faster than we anticipated, we learned quickly that we had to get sponsors involved, and that's been a very critical component. Um, we've learned a lot about how to value those sponsorships and who to look for and what companies and organizations fit, which ones want to be a part of it and which ones don't. Um, and, and, and certainly the thing that's changed the, the first five years, the venue changed. We had to move the event every year, uh, and so we had to utilize different spaces, and now the last three years, including this year, we've been in the same space, so this is the first time that we've had uh, the building not change, and so we're kind of, um, you know, getting used to uh, creating a new event within the same venue, because we want the event to be different every year, so really the, the, the event is constantly changing, yet some things are staying the same, which is the vision for um, presenting contemporary art and music in a very, very high energy and kind of funky urban environment. But, you know, for Indianapolis, we want Orange to be on everybody's kind of annual calendar, and I actually was sort of mentioning this last night. If you, you sort of look at your year out, and you know you're doing something on New Year's, and you know you're doing something with somebody on Valentine's Day, and you know you're going to wear green on St. Patrick's Day, and you're going to watch the March Madness, you know, stuff, and you're going to go to the race, and then you got July 4th stuff, and we want Orange to be on that calendar, almost like a holiday. It's almost like, you know, the third weekend in September is, is Arts Weekend, and everybody goes to that, just like people get excited all month, uh, the month of May, and they go to the race. We want Orange to be on that event calendar for people in Indianapolis, and uh, we hope that by doing things the right way, we'll, we'll get to that point eventually. Reality was everything humans could touch, smell, see, and...